I have been one of the people uh, involved in advising uh, on the concept of how uh, an investment of 9.3 billion uh, doesn't just last for two weeks or four weeks, but actually might last for the next 20, 30 years. The whole project is about trying to make this more like London. Nothing to do with the architecture itself, but all about to do with the sort of the connectivity and the structure of city, which I think will support over time because of its connections, because of its housing policy, and because of its ambitions to be sustainable, the two central themes that I was talking about before. Does the city have speech? Does it talk to us? And talk that urbanizing language, if you want. And, uh, and how do we recover the capacity to sort of listen? What does it mean to listen to that urban speech? In this case, this is Lisbon. Is Lisbon seen from these thousands and thousands of taxis moving in the city, all of them with GPS, and you see how, you know, they describe you the system and how the system almost live as a living system. Streetscape now becomes this augmented reality, or already is this augmented reality, where you start to bring um, information about the programs, about offers, about availabilities, about um, certain protection modes into the streetscape. And the last point, communicate, is about that car that is not driving anymore. It's actually driving you, or it's not driven anymore, it's driving you, or you are not the driver anymore, you are the one who is being driven. So it becomes an experience machine. One of the things I, I quite like is to, to really think of the city um, as a place uh, where humans um, interact with each other at various degrees of intimacy, um, but also uh, as a place where you have the chance to remain anonymous. The, the whole ground actually became this network um, of, um, of shared spaces and a true sense of how a community could exist both within their privacy of the apartment, but also within a, a really complex environment of various degrees of, of spaces. We and then rethinking housing, making it absolutely green is, uh, was another goal that we, that we had in this project. So it's taking a technology 2,500 years old, called pleaching, grafting inosculate matter to one contiguous vascular system. You can do it with woody plants, trees, anything that grows. We use CNC to shape it into a specific volume, and it becomes a home called the Fab Tree Hab. It's a home that respects all life around it. It connects to the metabolism of, of, metabolism of the earth. It is a part of the landscape. The outside is the outside. There's kind of no difference between landscape and home. You can grow a, a kind of a village of these for thousands of families, not with a zero impact on the landscape or not a kind of an efficiency model, uh, but something that would be a positive contribution to the ecology. Mm -hmm.